Hi guys, Steve Mizar are here back with another video. Today's video, we are going to be using these woodless watercolour pencils. And last video, I said I was thinking of making a series called Mixing Other Art Supplies with Ballpoint Pen. And that's exactly what we are going to be doing today. We're going to be mixing these woodless colour, watercolour pencil thing, colour things with Ballpoint Pen. That's what we're going to do. Um, I've had this idea in my head for some time now and at the end of the day an idea is just an idea until you make it an actual thing instead of it just being an idea because at the end of the day an idea is still just an idea and I said idea way too much there let's go turn this idea into something and I hope you guys enjoy it if you want the links to the pens and all that stuff that I'm using in this video or in the description tutorial videos up here here I don't know I'll put it somewhere here and in the description so you guys can go learn my ways the demus art ways and yeah let's go do this man it's gonna be lots of fun let's go so to start this drawing I had to use obviously woodless pencils and just sketch it out it looks a bit rough but yeah because I know I'm gonna be applying water and it's gonna be all smoothened out and blend it together that's why I wasn't really fussed with the first layer I always mention it with the ballpoint pen as well I think it just applies to art the first couple of layers is not really that important unless you apply it too hard if you apply it too light then you will be fine one thing I didn't notice about the water is I applied way too much <laughs> the first time around so I had to wait for it to dry that way I could add more color on top of it because I tried to add color while it was wet that just didn't work so yeah I had to wait for it to dry up and then apply more color blend it even more and then I had to wait for it to dry again um, because I felt like some areas needed a bit more touch a bit more darkness and that's what I did but these brush pens I'm the water with the water brush pen things I'm loving them right now and after that I had to wait for it to completely dry because the paper was like creasing a bit because I applied way too much water so I had to wait for it to flatten out and literally dry out and that was around 20-25 minutes of waiting um, if I had a hair dryer, I probably would have used that. That probably would have been quick. But because the brother's got that short hair, <clears throat> yeah, so I can't, I don't have no hair dryer in my house. Anyways, bringing in the ballpoint pen, the one I'm using is linked in the description. It's a big one. I am actually going to be very honest right now. This is my favorite pen of all time. <laughs> like, I'm just putting it out there. This pen is smooth. This big, but I don't know why they call it a big, soft writing pen because it's, it's soft it's, it's real soft and yeah I, I just loved it and i'm using it in literally in every drawer now all my other black pens i've just put to the side i'm like nope this is the one um i've had this one i've been using this one for the last couple of drawings with me ballpoint pens they don't really run out that quickly because again i build up layers i don't like to go too crazy and press too hard i never do that so one pen can literally last me like 15 20 plus drawings um, and yeah that's what normally happens with me so here I obviously because I don't have a white pen and all that stuff I really had to focus on the whiskers and how I was gonna get them in so I had to use the obviously the paper and that required a lot of concentration so I had to really focus in on the details and everything but obviously because I use my Lego technique now I break the picture down and don't focus on the rest just focus on each whisker as it is and then build it up like that um but yeah i just have to keep on with this one there's a lot of hairs and stuff so i really had to like it was a lot of scribbling here and there but it was all like lines it wasn't like circular shapes or anything like that it was a lot of scribbling in order to create the illusion of hair and um, that's another key with ball and pen you have to try and create an illusion you don't you're not trying to get everything perfect to the point where yeah it looks like a photo you want to try and create that illusion again i told you multiple times i am a sketchism artist that's what i class myself don't class myself as a realism artist i class myself as a sketchism so i do a bit of sketch and realistic drawings combined um that's a new thing that i've created <laughs> but anyways as you can see now we're moving on to the eye and i've got two pens i've got the one that i told you guys the big soft one and i've got another big but this one's the nib is 1.6 instead of being one millimeter um this was 1.6 so it's a lot thicker and it covers up a lot of area 
faster instead of having to do a lot of cross hatching or anything like that I just use the thicker black pen again that's the reason why I would say I like to buy multiple pens because you never know you can buy thicker ones thin ones it ranges from like 0 0.5 then you have 0 0.7 then you have 0 0.8 then you have 1 then you have 1.2 I don't think I've seen a 1.4 yet, but a 1.6. So there's different levels of the thickness of the nib. Um, but yeah, I prefer, I think my favorite is around 1.1 1, 1 or 0 0.7. I like 0 0.7. The 1.6 is just for filling up areas, which I use quite a lot in, not quite a lot, but in these big bulky black areas, that's why I use the 1.6. So with the hairs, it was just a lot of flicking and following the direction of the hair. There's no, not really any straight lines. Um, if you want to make it easier for yourself, I suggest you rotate the paper around, like move the paper around. Because I'm obviously recording it for you guys, that's why the paper is stuck in like one position. But if I wasn't recording, I would be turning the paper around to make it a na more natural movement with my hand instead of being a bit stiff and having to go from like top all the way down to the bottom, like left to right because I'm right-handed, so I prefer going from right to left. So turning the paper would have been much easier for me, but again, because I'm recording. But yeah, that's a tip for you guys. If you're not recording this, make sure you turn the paper. It makes it so much easier for yourself. And with the hairs, you just want to focus on, obviously, get group, getting the groups of hair and obviously following the hair direction. You want to make it flow. You don't want it to be in all sorts of areas. You want it to flow. And that's the key with hair group get the groups of hair flow that way and make sure you follow the, the way the direct direction of the hair is going and then build from that hair i did press record on my camera and yeah so i missed out that part but again as you can see i'm keep building keep adding more and more and more to the point where i'm satisfied and i'm like okay i like it but that's the key with hair you just have to build it up don't rush and just say okay i want to do all this group of hair with one big stroke that's not how it's going to work it's not going to look right it's just going to look rough and scruffy but you can see here multiple times i'm just building multiple, multiple layers getting darker it's getting thicker and it's just looking more and more like hair it just gets to a point where you're satisfied and you're like you know what i'm happy here and just done but yeah that's it for me hope you guys enjoyed this little commentary and make sure to hit that like button it really helps the video and helps the channel grow if you guys have any questions make sure to comment below as well thank you for watching guys so here is the final image it actually came out way better than i was expecting and then, then like i said at the beginning it was just an idea but we've made it happen and here it is boom look at that this is actually now available to get as a print on my red bubble page which i will put a link in the description it should be underneath all the materials somewhere there but yeah you can get this on a print you can get this on a phone case you can get it on all them stuff um, and I'm definitely going to be doing more things like this because this was a lot of fun and I feel like I'm getting to understand watercolour paint or pencils and all that stuff a bit more now that I'm using it more. At the beginning when I was doing this, the paper started creasing up and I didn't realise that you had to let it literally calm down, sit down and all that stuff before you start applying any type of ballpoint pen or anything like that. And once it actually sat down and went flat again, I could start adding in the black ink which was great but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up if you didn't still give it a thumbs up don't forget to comment share subscribe to demons art that's me i'm out catch you in the next video peace